Arise, shine, for this is your time's blessing. It's Monday, and you already know we like to start off with prayer for we have God's insight, for we can have his foresight, for we can know his will, and we can have his covering as we go through this week once again. Listen, in the books of Psalms, Psalms 37, the passage says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. He also says, Commit your ways unto him. Trust also in him, and it shall come to pass. You've been waiting for some things to come to pass. You've been looking for some things to start opening up. One thing we have to do to get this action moving in our life, to see the manifestation, is to lighten in God. That means we're putting God first. We're entering into his rest. We're seeking him in all that we do. The Bible says, seek first the king. Dumb. Seek the king first in everything that you're asking and that you're looking for. And now all the rest of the stuff will add up. Your needs for finances, your need for your shelter. The breakthrough you're looking for is in delighting yourself in the Lord. Because he wants to give you the desires of your heart. When you're doing your work, when you're doing things throughout the week, commit those things unto him. Don't say that you can't do it. Go to God and ask him for the direction and guidance. Commit your ways unto him. Trust in him. Trust in him. Believing in what he says. Believing that he's not a man that he should lie. Believe that he is the loving father. He is your source. And he wants to give you the desires of your heart. So if anything that you're standing in need for, if it's anything that's giving you pressure, if it's anything that's coming against you, trust in God. Commit that thing over to him. Whatever work you're trying to finish, if it's a paper you're trying to write, if it's a situation upon your job that you just can't figure out, commit that thing unto God. Seek him first for his direction, and he will give you the desires of your heart. So as we're going forth, let us ask God for his wisdom, his direction, as we're going forth upon this week. Father, we do thank you for your direction. We thank you, Lord God, that you said the steps of a righteous man are ordained for you. So, Lord God, we come to you first because you know the way we should be. You know exactly what we should do. You know how to fix each and every situation that's going on in our life. Lord God, so we delight ourselves in you. We trust in, in you. We're committing everything that we're putting our hands to to you first, Father. We thank you that and when, when we're doing this, we know that we have whatsoever thing that we ask for. So, Lord God, this week, we're asking for your direction. We're asking for your instructions on how to solve this situation, to how to solve this problem, to how to come out of any stronghold that's been going on in our life. We're casting our cares upon you. Lord, we thank you that in this, Father, we can enter into your rest, that no longer are we struggling, no longer are we torn, no longer is this thing having a hold upon us. Lord, we thank you right now that you're giving us the desires of our heart, those things that we yearn for, the things that we want to complete, the dreams and visions that you have given to us. Lord God, I pray today that a way opens up in someone's life financially, the things that they're looking for. Lord God, a breakthrough for somebody in their home, that Lord, this week, allow them to have a fresh start. That, Lord God, old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Give them a new beginning, a fresh start. Let your anointing be upon them as they move forth, Lord God. We thank you that no good thing are you holding from us, and we can come to you because you are the loving Father. We thank you that you are the source. So you being the source, Lord God, we don't have to stress. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to complain about it. All we have to do is delight ourselves in you. And Lord God, we're committing this day, we're committing this week, every project, every circumstance, financially, every health situation, anything that's going on in our life, we're committing it unto you. We're passing it to you. Why? Because we trust in you. We trust in the word. We trust you that if you've done it before, you're going to do it again. We trust you, Lord God, for you said in your word 
that you hearken unto the prayers of the righteous, that you hear our prayers, Lord God, and that you're open to receive us, Lord God. And if we know that you hear us, we know that you have already answered us. So Lord, as these people, your sheep, your sons, your daughters, as they go forth, I speak favor upon their life. Lord God, in anything they put their hands to, anything they're trying to do, Lord God, let them have the desires of their heart. Lord God, open up doors that was once shut Lord God, shut doors that was open, Lord God. Place them in the position that you have called for them, Lord God. Things that you have ordained because you said that promotion comes for you. We thank you right now that promotion is opening up for somebody. Healing is coming to somebody. Deliverance is coming to somebody. Lord God, somebody is standing in need for a breakthrough and we are committing ourselves unto you, Lord God. We are hearkening unto you. We're putting ourselves in position to hear from you like never before that we will get the desires of our heart. So we thank you already in advance for the things that you have done. We thank you, Lord God, that we are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. We stand in need for nothing because we have the King. We have our Father who is our source. And we thank you that this week you're opening up, you're giving to us our heart's desires. In Jesus' name, until next time, be blessed. Go in the power of the Lord, for he is our source. Amen.